Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Fallout 4 VR. This is Gentleman Gamer here, we're going to play through with some more Fallout 4 VR. Um, I did record this episode yesterday, however, when I played back through it, uh, it turns out it didn't record the audio of the game. Uh, so I'm going to have to redo it from the save game that I left off uh, from the first episode again, and uh, play through. Now something I noticed as I came in, my gun appears to have a bit of a problem. There's no ammo, but it's now loading from the front. The reload cannot be done now, and things are just generally not in the right spot. And yet, it still shoots. So there you go, it looks like we've got a, uh, a working... Well, I don't know what to call this. I guess this is a, like an arm... Uh, something to... Stop recoil. But, uh, yeah, I guess we're just going to play with that. So let's see if we can find Preston. He should be around somewhere. Let's see if I can get it up on my, um, quest. Join Preston. So it is up. It is that way. Okay. There he is. Decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Eh, uh, I've yeah. been there, done that. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying. I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. I Anybody else like make to it think I'm a little bit more handsome than one of those ghouls, but you know. My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind. But I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in their Miniman out there, somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. The trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you yes. think you could go help out the settlement? Having two hands on a gun would usually make that happen. I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The Miniman could use more people like you. By the way, I leveled up. How did I level up that much? Thanks, Prest. Let's go find that settlement. Thankfully, at this distance, with full H, uh, full H, HP, full AP, I can, um, you know, sort of go forward rather quickly. And yet, not use any of the AP. Oop. So we're headed this way. Probably going to come across a couple of bulls. It's okay. I've been looking for a firefight. The road heads up there. The way we need to go is that direction. Uh, let's head that way. Uh, the excavation. So we're going to go around this. I haven't, at the moment, got all that much ammo to waste on going after a bunch of people. So, while the textures haven't, like, the high-res textures haven't been loaded in, it sort of screws with your head a bit um, in terms of textures. I don't know if you guys saw that just then, but it, it does a few things like that sometimes. And I have noticed that if you look at the, the HP and the AP bars, you can actually see this thing that's meant to be supposedly that far away from you over the top, no matter where you are. Maybe that's by design, maybe that's something that's been added on, um, or rather a bug, but uh, whichever way it is, 
uh, something I've noticed. And some people up there. I'll leave them to their own devices. Um, maybe I was just bad at aiming, but I have a feeling that this gun is having issues. So I'm lined up right there. Oh, I hit him. That's as bad as shooting. Always look both ways before crossing the road, guys. That's the lesson of the day. So, what we're looking for is that way. It's just around this corner, I think. There we go. So, another thing. These doors look huge. I mean, I don't know how, why they need to be so big and hit me in the face. Hey. What do you want? But, you uh, yeah, they're Bring quite large. I would like to say I love what you've done with the place. I mean, you've got a chair over here, you know, some mattresses over there, rain gets through. It gives you that outdoory feel. Take it easy. I'm with the Minutemen. I'm here to help. You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come. I am amazed, though, because you look like you're wearing lipstick, and I guess... Bad it's great that you're taking the time to look nice in a post-apocalyptic world. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're the good guys again. Glad to hear it. No question that things have been worse since the Minutemen fell to pieces. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Then I'll do I'll it. I'll take care of them. Thanks, friend. If you folks are for real this time, it'll be a welcome change for the better. Alright, gotcha. See, I'm not sure if this is gonna, like, actually persist over games, like the save games, because that does not seem like what a gun should look like. Maybe I just haven't seen many here, guns. You gotta take things one day at a time. That's life advice, guys. Take things one day at a time. Never know what's just around the corner. In most cases, it, it may be me with a gun. They are star. So now I should really be conserving the AP because I have no idea when I'm going to come across like a, a big group of raiders or a big group of feral bulls and that I will need to run away quickly. So. We will, we will try. Now, I think there are usually uh, ghouls up here. And one thing that VR allows me to do is run up on top of things. They can't do anything. Look at this. Hello. Ah, I can do this. Slow-mo. Reloading. So I haven't got very much ammo left, so let's let's see what other weapons we have. Stop shooting the dog. That was fun. So I have the cryo later. I might go with that. Oh, this looks fun. Come on. It's almost like an area of effect weapon because it just sort of sprays cryo over everyone. Okay. I don't think there are any more. There's probably more over that way. It's also reasonably short range, so let's... Oh dear god, what the hell happened there? This guy just like flew from the bloody sky. That, that's impressive, like, I, I know he's dead now, but that was just amazing. I 
I hope you guys saw that. I'm glad that I got that on video. Oh, dear God. Dog running at me. Usually I'm happy to see a dog running at me. Sorry, I just need to untangle the cables. Okay, let's see what these guys had. Bottle caps. A, a, a wooden block. I mean, I, I could take that and just sort of play with it. A bag of cement. Maybe I should just carry that around on my shoulder. If any ghouls come up to me, I can just drop it on their heads. So tell me guys, uh, at the moment I am going to be recording these videos as hour long interval videos. Um, if you guys want something different, um, please let me know. It would be quite good to um, have some feedback, uh, you know, on what people want, whether it's, you know, 20 minute episodes that cover all the content in them, or let's say 20 minute episodes that were actually an hour of recording, and me cutting it out to only the good parts. Um, maybe I make a particularly good joke. Um, but yeah, just, just let me know because it, it's always handy. I'm, I'm learning, I'm new to YouTubing. It'd be good to know what people want. Because uh, I can't... I can't be constantly talking after all there is. It is a game. We are going to be fighting things. And when fighting things, I tend to get preoccupied with you know, surviving. Oh. Alright, so where am I? I'm down there. I need to go there. After what I just said about conserving AP, you would have thought I'd actually conserve it. kill the crows. There you go. Alright, so let's see, what's the best way to get them attack? You know, I'm going to quickly just head over this way, because I know that this is the silver light in or, or, or drive through or video driving, that's the one. Um, I just wanted to get this area found because I know that later in the game it does use that area and it'd be good now that I'm right next to it to simply have it on the radar ready for me to use later. So the assembly plant that I'm going to is that one that has the big ball up the top there. So I know that the best way I think would be to go Probably in from underneath. See, there you go. There, there's the texture problem, where it's not loaded in yet, and then it loads in, and, and it's um, it sort of uh, screws with your head a bit. Or at the very least, it screws with my head. Um, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go round the town, and it's doing it again. So. Uh, Bethesda, if you see this, or if somebody gets back to Bethesda with some bugs, let them know first off about the way I got this cryolator, because that should not be able to be done. Uh, but second off, the texture problem, and I also noticed another thing when I last played this uh, yesterday, when there was the issue with the sound, and that is, I was up against a locked door, it needed... Um, a code to get in, and I simply went up to the door and walked through the door. Now I know that it's they've got some things in place to stop that happening. They've got um, it's, it sort of pushes you back from the door whenever it's a problem. I'm just going to pause here. It, it sort of pushes you back if there's a wall in front of you and you're too close to it. It will push you back so that you can't just walk through. However, even without room scale, and I'm just in a room and I've got this one circle of, of area that I can use, even with 
just this area, I was able to get far enough forward for the game to think that I was on the other side of the wall and push me further in, thinking that I was getting too close to the wall on the other side. So there are, there are ways around things, and I'm going to try, I'm going to endeavor not to do that. This was game breaking enough as it is because it's such a powerful gun that's locked by a master lock, but you can just get by it. Um, so I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna try not to do this. I don't want to just cheat my way into walls, stuff like that. Oh, that must be the fire support. That's the plant there. Oh. Oh no, this would also be it. I just need to go around the corner. Let's see how I go. The problem is going to be all the people that run around there. So I'm going to see if I can get some cover when I first run in. I've got some cover here. I'll run out, get these two people, and run back. Get this guy. I'll take his stuff. Just like I will take their stuff. Hopefully, uh, before I get found. So, they're in a frenzy now. Let's see if we can get the drop on them. So where's the closest person above that way? So, I am just going to run up that way and see what I can do. Dog. Apparently, I'm not even seen right now. Oh. Don't see that coming. All right, so we can. Wave to everyone. Hey guys. Hope you're enjoying yourselves. Just up here killing your friends. Oh, and you're next, you know. So, I want to let you guys know a bit about um, what I like when it comes to, you know, what's my inspiration for how I act in these videos. Um, I mean, it's... It, it's pretty much just me, how I am normally. But I've also seen Mr. Right. I don't know how many people have seen it. It has um, uh, Anna Kendrick as the, the lead female. Um, but it has uh, this killer guy that, um, well, he just likes wearing suits. And, you know, classic, classic sort of guy but he's also you know a hitman and that's what he does he goes around in suits and kills people that hire him he's like a reverse hitman I guess um, yeah um, so I sort of get inspiration from that is is a cynical slash uh, funny guy that um, kills people and I don't kill people but you know I'd like to think I'm funny and the end would never run. This is not exactly where I hoped I'd be, but I do need to get the inside. Up oh, that. There's the gun there. Nope, nope, I don't want to climb up the wall. Nope, reload, come on. Say, this. Once I'm out of ammo on this, I think I'm going to have to get rid of the gun because it is way, way too overpowered. Especially this early in the game. 
Um, I'd be a, a fool not to use it to my advantage because it just makes things all glow sided. It just makes things fun when you just point, click, and they die. And it's not like I cheated it in or anything. It was just a bug that I'm exploiting. Which in some cases I guess is just as bad. Yes, I am playing it. Um, let's, let's just explore in here. Does he have his key? That's a master unlock. So I mean, I mean, if I really wanted to, to get in here. See? This is what I'm talking about. You just sort of walk through the wall. When you turn up. I won't uh, take anything though because that would be exploiting it too much in my opinion. It's one thing to just take a gun from a case, it's another to walk through to a completely different area. But hey, maybe you guys want to use this exploit and who am I to judge? Oh dear. So let's quickly get a stim pack. My health get up. That's another thing I uh I don't really pay attention, I guess, enough to the health part of this, which I should. Um, because otherwise I will end up without health. Whoops. Ah, uh, let's take the hot plate. It's always nice to cook things. Hmm. Oh. Bottle cap. Well, uh, what is happening in there? A lot of explosions happening. If you head, there are other ghouls. That is super dark. It's actually uh, quite good. I like it. It's intuitive. That's it. um, some sometimes it's a bit easy. I guess they, because of the fact that it's now VR, it's a, a fairly unknown sort of form. Oh, hello. Um, it's a fairly difficult thing to use sometimes, especially for some people who, who are just completely used to the mouse and keyboard. Um, so they sort of had to make it a bit easier so that it just didn't completely screw up. But uh, yeah, no, so as you can see here, as my finger moves around the, the pad, so does lock. And then you just need to hit the button at the back to actually move it. So. And then you got it. I know some people are frustrated I'm leaving behind a lot of stuff, but I've found it it's better to conserve what weight you have, especially start game. Um, save it for things like ammo, for things like guns that you need, that sort of thing. Because otherwise you'll get to a point where you need to get 
rid of a bunch of different things, you know, to, to get some weight back. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, maybe it's just happening on the VR, uh, my, my headset instead of the, the video, but this floor is flickering and that is just freaking me out. Like, I don't like it flickering. I'm not epileptic or anything, but I do prefer not to have things flickering so much. Um, okay, so I'm inside the tank now. Apparently that's a thing I can do, and it's, can I just like shoot out of the tank? I'm assuming I can get out. I'm going to have to walk out. So let's let's make this quick. Let's make make uh, quick work of these guys because they are hurting the dog, and I can't allow that to happen. Yeah, boy. Where? That is super creepy. anymore. So, I don't know where the other guy was. Maybe I was seeing things. Oh, there he is. Where the hell did he come from? Oh, he went outside. Okay. So, that was, well, different, I guess. Okay, so that flickering in the background is, I will warn people in the description that there is a bit of flickering. Just be careful watching this video if you have epilepsy. Nice. Um, I will work on figuring out why it's like that so that hopefully it doesn't occur in other videos. So that's this, this main area sort of completed. Now I'm just going to head back out of the same door I came in so I can head upstairs and, and say hi to all those people. There's somebody to say hi to. That's a guy that I can say hi to as well in my, my own odd way. Somebody over there apparently. Hello. I feel like I'm about to run out of the ammo. Oh, look at that. I don't think I've ever been in here. There, oh, hello. What's wrong, dog? All right. Let's go upstairs. We'll play around. Oh, I just went through the map there for a second. Yep, I am in three different holes. Oh, sorry about that. I think I had a silver locket. Did I see someone down here shooting at me? Yes, I did. Hello. Hey, 
Who's shooting at me now? Haven't your parents ever taught you that it's rude to shoot at someone? Hmm, another question is, I'm gonna go down there. Goes this way. Get to take stuff from this guy. I'm just gonna quickly untangle myself twice. Shoot the person up there. Yeah, it's one of the big problems with having VR that's wired is obviously your cords get tangled. At my old place, I did have the cords coming down from the roof, which helps substantially, actually. Um, but I am at a rental place at the moment, so um, it's a lot more difficult to get stuff from the roof because I'm not allowed to drill holes. So um, I just came from there, so down here. So uh, I'm just going to have to deal with what I've got have the uh, cables around my feet and if I trip over hey there you go you got some uh, comedy all right we're almost done up here I'm just gonna have a look at here We'll go back inside, head upstairs, take out the uh, the actual you know bosses and whatnot of this plant. I need health. Um, and then I will be back to the the start. And um, let's see, quick its way down. That. Another good thing about teleporting, you can semi jump. There was, there was someone there, but I'm sure we'll kill them later. So I think they have something similar in here. Now I know it's the same people. Come on, boy, out of the way. Um, I think they have something similar in this game that they do in Skyrim. Where if you're talking to someone, or someone is talking to you, or they're engaged with you, um, like gunfire-wise, um, that it will actually bring them with you. Uh, when you go through a door, go to, like a, a cutscene load screen sort of thing. So um, that sort of helped me out there, and that I didn't need to search for the, the, the lady who was shooting at me. Oh, I'm almost out of this, so use it while it lasts. So let's get the last one here. Yeah. Oh, we still got three left. Seventeen that way. Directly above us. So above us is must be where we're headed oh, man, next. I've already been down. It'll be up this way now. No, they don't have any hot plates. So so that's, that's one thing I learned pretty early on in Fallout, is that you need copper, you need it. To make any sort of power system, you just need copper. And um, easiest way I've found to get copper would be to um, get hot plates. Now I'll teach you a bit about this hacking system. 
um, because it is a bit confusing when you first get to it, but it is really easy once you're, you, you've done it before. So you can see here that I've chosen needs as the password. The lightness is two, which means two of those letters are the same letters in some other ones. You can, once you've got two, two of the words, it usually is pretty simple to find the correct answer because if um, uh, you just need to match the words. So for instance, needs has two the same. So this one here, this has two the same. Names has two the same as well because it's got the N at the start and the S at the end. So that could be the correct answer. Things like uh, keeps, that has two in common as well because it's got the, uh, actually that's got three in common. It's got the two E's in the middle where needs is and it's the S. So it can't be that one. Uh, names is what I would at the moment go for as the correct answer, but um, I'm going to show you a few other little tricks that some people might not know. So you can see these brackets here that I've got highlighted. If you can find in the one line the starting and ending brackets facing each other, it will do one of two things. It will either reset the amounts remaining, so the guesses, or it will remove a dud code. So I'll press on that. That one reset my tries, so that's good. And you can't use it again once you've used it once. So you have to go and find other ones. So it'll work on all of these curly braces, all of those curly braces, and then the pointed braces even, and the square braces. So there's a square one. That one removed the dud. It removed that word that was up there. I'm not sure what word that one was, but it removed it. Um, so let's see, what else have we got? Uh, we have... It will work on these ones too, the pointy braces. So let's, let's have a quick look around see if we can find another one that's got, you know, reset tries or something like that. So it looks like that one was it. So I'm going to go to names and see if it was the correct one. No, so that one wasn't. So the good thing is we've now got the likeness of one for that and two for that. So it has to have two likeness to the needs. So that one doesn't. That one only has one. That's not right either. Uh, I think that one would have to be it because keeps has three likeness to needs that one has one names had two which meant it could be a possible one but I guess that and that's only one so uh, so let's do it through so that definitely has likeness of two with the E and the S for names it just has the S at the end which is the likeness of one so that would have to be the correct answer so let's choose personality of law enforcement just in case it wasn't already and let's turn him on so let's get out of the way so that he can then fight all of the enemies take out as many as he can and then we'll come in and take out the rest just an easier way and we don't have to deal with getting set on fire by that then again we've got to cry later only has three ammo. I like that it has those bubbles. It has these bubbles that go through the, the cryolet. It's, it's good. Alright, so let us change to a gun that will have the right. And so what ammo have we got? We've got 436 of that. Does 13 damage. That's 34 damage. We haven't got a huge amount of ammo for it, and it's a very small, <laughs> light looking weapon, but it should be enough to do what we want. So let, let's, 
let him do his thing. And we'll use this as a distraction to get by. It's a very slow reload, but it'll do what we want. That looks like the protectron is going after us now. So it loaded. Let's go see if we can take that guy out. Loaded, come on. There we go. Are there any more enemies? No. So we can quickly just do what we want essentially. So this is a good gun in terms of power, but it is not very good when you're in a big firefight like this and you have to, you know, shoot very quickly because it does not shoot fast. <laughs> I cannot read it, which makes me think that I am still in combat. There might be someone underneath me. Ah, over there. back upstairs and read that comic book. That's what we're all in this for, right? To read comic books? Alright, well that's getting a bit annoying. Probably could have just turned it off at its source, but... Okay, so... I Oh, I can teleport up here. There we go. Quick way to climb up. And you know what? You, you are scum. How did that not hit your head? There we go. Yes. Okay. Rognak the Barbarian. Unarmed and melee hits do five more damage. Eh, I don't really melee very often, but it's good to know that I've got that option there. What if we could blow the skeleton? No, we might not be able to blow the skeleton so dark. It's probably a good idea that I don't waste ammo on just doing that, but you know what? It's kind of fun to do it, so you know, I'll just leave it. All right, let's get a gun that we have quite a bit of ammo for. It does 14 damage. And it looks mm, all right, it's stabby at the end. I might see if we can head sort of around the front. And we'll we can try and take out that, uh, that gun. So I'm gonna go around the back of this car. That car's gonna blow up. Alright, 
Oh, is he not gonna blow, just blow up already? There we go. That was a stupid move, but look, look at this. I'm in slow-mo now, so you can see middle of the explosion. I like it, and my things are glowing. But look at this, it's almost as if I have broken the matrix. <laughs> I almost don't want to, you know, play it again. Like, can I... Damn it. It would be nice to be able to move around with it all paused. Um, I guess I should probably stim pack myself to heal up. Oh, yep. Nah, yeah, that's probably enough health to, to operate on. Let's, let's see if we can blow up another cut. You know, actually, that's a bad idea. I have got quite a bit of ammo on this, but I don't want to waste the ammo on doing something like that. So, let's head back. Let's head back to the uh, Templars Bluff. Fast travel there. We'll say that we uh, helped them out, and then we might do a bit of workshop stuff. I'll uh, set up some beds. I'll dismantle some of the houses that aren't in use, um, and we'll make um, Sturgis happy because he really wants hey. everyone to have a nice bed to sleep in, which is commendable, especially in a wasteland like this. You find those raiders? Yeah, yes, I did, ma'am. I took care of them. No kidding. That's the best piece yeah, well, of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. That's if we good. want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So we're in. You can count on us if you need help. Down I'm the line. still just amazed again, how she's wearing lipstick. I mean, her hair is looking quite oily, so she obviously hasn't washed her hair all that much. But she just wears lipstick, and it's commendable that, you know, she finds the time for it. Let's head to Sanctuary. Look at that. That would be huge in my hand, and I really want to get the weapon and use it because it looks wonderful to use. Found something, boy? Is it all the noise? Oh, well, maybe I should wear a sequin dress. I think I'd look rather nice in one. What are you? Are you saying something in there? Mm, good job. I like how they're like always working on this, so let's see if we can find them. They're, they're always hammering away at this place, this house, but it just never gets any better than it is right now. Um, that's just one of the great things about this world, I guess. Now let's go report our success. Yeah. Hey, bruv. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. I mean, way, he just says that's great letters. news in that monotone voice. For help like, from any he minute. sent us there to not protect them, yet. and but I come back not only having protected them, but having got them to sign up to the Minutemen. And all he says is, that's great news. And in that voice, it was just wonderful. I figured you'd tell me when you were ready. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? No. I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Yeah, but I mean, I was Where asleep the men just up there for 200 years. And the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turn their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up. 
but I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Hey, that means a lot coming from you, Garp. I appreciate that. Does that mean you'll do it? Okay. Yeah, I'll help you. I'll do it. Good. I'll do it. Good. Shame Welcome it. aboard. I feel like this is a whole new start for the Minutemen and the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. Uh, general? Ooh. Considering I just went from civilian to general, I'm uh, pretty flattered at this. <laughs> That's quite a promotion you just gave me. The leader of the Miniman has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, general nobody Beck. could agree on who should take his place. Hmm. But one good I've thing heard that name before. I think it was General Beckman. There's no one to argue with me when I say For those who know general, what I'm talking about, now it's your right. job and to make it is such a good series. Title. I've gotten word about a settlement that's being threatened by raiders. I'll mark it on your map. Go find out what they need. So we'll use more settlements supporting our cause. So I would help them right now, and I know this is a time-sensitive matter, but I want to decorate this place. Okay, so this is the workshop. It's pretty sick. Especially since, like, these are models that you can just sort of get really close to. Like, that is a cute little house. And it's demonstrated right there. Like, just... I have to rotate the whole thing to rotate as quickly as it. I guess I could probably just go across, across to the next, um... Next one, and it wouldn't rotate as much. So there you go. Uh, it's the same one, but it's... No, it's not the same one. This has two stories. It's close to it, though. So, the same entrance there. They use the same models. They just added this whole side bit there. They got rid of the other side, and they added a roof bit. So, what we need to do first, before we actually do this, and I shouldn't have gone into this, is we need to find Sturgis, because... You know what, I, I don't know where he is, and I know that you can actually go make the stuff that he wants, then talk to him, and he'll realize that it's, it's all there. So let's go into furniture beds. Now, of the beds, I always choose a specific one. I always choose this one, because this one is smaller than a lot of the others. This one is quite large compared to this. And it still all just counts as a bed. So... Let's go over here and let's start making the beds. So if we put that there. Um, we don't, don't, do we not? We don't have enough cloth. All right. We need to get more cloth. So there are a bunch of things around the settlement that can give you cloth. One of the easiest things is just scrap. Uh, the couches. Okay, let's, let's go back so we don't have that model. So just scrap anything that in real life would actually have cloth. Um, I'll I'm just going to scrap a bunch of things. The rug, that'll have cloth. The TV should have steel. And we'll get a bunch of things from these things. Now, the flag also has all cloth, so that's enough for another bed. We'll get past that wall. Huh. Look, it's me. Just look at this image of me. It's wonderful. Of course, it also means that I'm a vampire, but you know, whatever. I'll just pretend I'm not. Get rid of that. Um, I think you get yeah some oil from those two, so... Let's go in here. Now, there's one other thing that I should probably read, and that is that your special book. I can get another point in whatever I wanted. I think Blast Radius, does that have nuclear? Yep, yeah, that has nuclear material. Alright, let's scrap that. I'll, I'll come back in for the, the your special book, because I'm already in this mode, and it would be just great to set up the uh, stuff already. Now, um... Settlement stuff, if I go back there, 
and I'll just exit the settlement. I think I was in it before. When you first go in, I'm still not sure how it exactly works because it should. Oh, there we go. It's probably understands. There you go. So you got your people five. You've only got one bed. So we need to have beds matching the amount of people at least. And if you're wanting to get more people into this, the place, you know, the more beds the better. So let's put some beds down. And now that we have lots of stuff, we should be able to get a few beds in here. So what I like to do, I, I don't go different houses for different people. Uh, to me that's just a bit wasteful, especially since we don't need that sort of stuff um, with, you know, a, a place that's pretty much, I mean, we don't need the fancy stuff in in a, a post-apocalyptic world, so um, let's go for resources and we'll get some water getting put down first. I know that it can only be done on the ground here and this is usually where I like to put them because they're just outside the house so that should give us 12 water so that's quite a bit of water for a, a place that doesn't have very many people if we put another one down it would essentially mean every single person has their own one to do which would be nice everyone likes their own stuff but you know it's, it's unnecessary really so let's go food, and um, we don't have any of the stuff to put down. The one I like to put down is the mutt fruit. First off, it produces one um, food, so like 0 0.5 potatoes and whatnot. Um, but it's also rather good to sell these things if you put a ton of them down. As long as you assign a bunch of people to them, you'll be able to get a lot of a lot of them into the system and sell those. Um, what I like to do to get money is I will buy the shipments of both fertilizer and plastic whenever I can. And for every two fertilizer and one plastic, you put together in the chem workbench, um, which is usually over this way will get one jet and you get you can get quite a bit of money out of that process so there's the bench so let's select that let's move that with us because it's kind of annoying to constantly have to go over there every time don't don't do it oh you walk through the bench oh how'd you do that magic this isn't harry potter is it so let's put that down can i I can scrap that. Oh good, that was all of it. So let's see if we can put that there. Um, let's put that right here. Um, it looks like the best... Hold on, is this? That is back. I might just put that. It doesn't really like being put there, does it? So let's see if I can put it up against this. And back to that. You there, let's get rid of these. Come on, select that, scrap that. There you go, that's a bit finicky. That's that is really far off the edge, and I really wanted it to be on the edge, but I guess. The bounding box on this thing is a lot further than I thought, or it goes higher than I thought. That's... it'll work there, I guess. So let's start scrapping a bunch of things. Actually, let's, let's see if we can put that there. Nope, I guess not. It's not really... The bounding box is going to screw up there. Um, I'd like to put this around the corner because... I don't like it when I constantly run into it when I'm going inside. Um, 
at these and put it into the wall. Should probably bring it out of the wall slightly. Um, and then we'll just get rid of these things. All right, so that's how you do the um, the workshop. It's I uh, just got out of the workshop. That's how you do the workshop. Um, we don't have enough. I oh, just exited the workshop. Um, we don't have enough uh, of food yet. As you can see, it's still at one, and we don't have defense. I might quickly head over to the defense and just set up. See if I have enough for a turret. Looks like I'd have enough to build two turrets, and that'll give us some defense. Theoretically, your defense should always be equal to or greater than the water and the food added together. And I like to add the defense here. And just as they enter the enter sanctuary. So let's get rid of that first. Just as people enter sanctuary. They get treated for two automatic guns. Oh, and looks like we actually do have enough for a third. Let's see if we can put it up there. There we go. So that's providing us with the 15 defense. That'll, that'll cover the water and food added together. There are five people and the happiness is going up. We're already near the size limit, so I might look... I might look at actually putting a mod on. Let me know guys in the comments what you want in terms of mods because I think it would be nice if I could add some mods to enable me to build more stuff in here. Um, I don't plan on really building a huge amount though, that's the thing, um, because I always feel like this game really, um, just like New Vegas, it was great because um, it, it was simply you going out and fighting. Now this is good in that you've got your own building stuff, you can build your own things, um, but, you know, it, it still takes away from the shooting part, and with, with uh, virtual reality or, and streaming in, in general, it, it's kind of boring to just sort of sit there and watch somebody build stuff. So what I'll do, um, unless people say differently in the comments, I will build all this stuff that I want to build separately to the videos um, and maybe I'll just give you a quick rundown on um, what I've done since last video in terms of building new things. Um, but that will be all for this episode. I thank you guys for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to. Um, I will be getting videos out as much as I can. I made an estimate last video that I would get videos out about once a week if I can. Um, I'm optimistic that I'll be able to go above that. I'm only gonna, not even promise, I'm only gonna say that I can do one video a week. But for instance, this video is coming out only about two days after the last video. Um, so I am optimistic that I will have a little bit of free time um, to get more videos out so i hope that i can do that so thank you guys for watching uh, this was general gamer playing some Fallout 4 vr and uh, i'll see you next video